So I'm going to show you watercolour painting technique for painting the appearance of water. And I began with a round number 10 brush, so quite a large brush. And I'm dipping it in the paint and starting off with the brush, touching the paper very lightly, pressing down much more so that the full body of the bristles um, touches the paper and then lifting away again. So producing brush marks, which are sort of like flattened oval shapes. And when you do this, the paint releases in a slightly uneven way. Um, but that's something which is actually quite nice uh, to start to mimic the effect of water. And then you can see me change colour. And because the whole thing was completely wet, so I hadn't left it to dry in between, uh, where one brush stroke touches another, the colour bleeds from one to the, the next brush stroke. Um, but that's actually, again, it was something that was rather nice um, that if anything I, I tried to encourage to happen a little bit so that the colour is slightly mixed on the paper. And as I worked I was tried to leave a little bit of white paper coming through to mimic the effect of reflected light. And as I work up the paper I'm dipping my brush in the water more so that the paint is a little bit thinner and more translucent. And the reason I'm doing this is to try and create the effect of perspective. So we want the water to look as though it's a body of water which has a surface that we can look across into the distance. So the paint that I'm using and the brush strokes I'm using at the bottom of the painting, uh, the paint is a little bit darker and thicker and the brush strokes are bigger. And then when I was doing the last section at the top, I switched to a smaller brush, had much thinner paint, and I was still using the same kind of brush strokes, but just reducing them in scale and in opacity so that we try to create the effect of perspective of looking across a surface of water.